Donald Trump says his mass deportation of 20 million people in the U.S. will begin in Aurora, Colorado. Trump has said that he wants local police to round up those people. That could be a tough sell in Aurora. The city responded today saying that Aurora police leave immigration enforcement to the federal government. Trump said today that the largest deportation effort in American history will start in Aurora and in Springfield, Ohio, which has seen an influx of mostly Haitian immigrants who are in this country legally. Yet Trump said that they would be deported to Venezuela. We're going to get these people out. We're bringing them back to Venezuela. They're all now in the United States, and they're now taking over cities. It's like an invasion from within. And we're going to have the largest deportation in the history of our country. And we're going to start with Springfield and Aurora. Claimed in this week's presidential debate that a Venezuelan gang is taking over Aurora. Trump's fixation on Aurora did not wane when city leaders then put out a joint statement the next day saying that the gang, trained de Aragua, has not taken over the city and that their presence is limited to a few select properties. Trump has now paired the Aurora claims with false smears that Haitians in Springfield, Ohio, are eating people's dogs and cats. Aurora City Councilwoman Danielle Jarinski, the chief driver of the claims about gang takeovers in Aurora, has framed this as an election year issue from the start and has said that the way to hold people accountable is in November. Fellow Republican Mayor Mike Kaufman said this week that Jarinski is playing politics and just trying to keep the narrative going through November. Trump said today he may be making a campaign stop in Aurora. 